This is the TC30 Plus budget USB microphone from Tonor. It comes with a boom arm and it retails for about $40 to $42 at the time of this review. There's actually an even cheaper version, which is the TC30, which is essentially the same microphone, but that one comes with a desk stand instead of the boom arm. How does it sound? Let's find out. Before we start, a quick disclaimer, Toner did send me this microphone for free for my review. However, this has not impacted my review, which remains unbiased and objective. Let's start with looking in the box. You get the user manual. You get the microphone itself with an integrated shock mount and a pop filter attached. And if you got the TC30 Plus version, there's also the boom arm in the box. The microphone has a cardioid polar pattern, so it picks up sounds from the front of the microphone while rejecting sounds from the sides and from the back. And to give you a demo on the pickup pattern, I'm going to slowly rotate the microphone. So right now I'm speaking from the side, and right now I'm at the back, and you should barely hear my voice at this point coming back to the side of the microphone and again to the front of the microphone. It has an attached pop filter, as you can see, and I think it does a fairly good job. Just to give you a quick demo with some plosives, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Does a fairly good job at that, and I think for the price, it sounds quite good. Again, this is not the best sounding microphone, but you're paying $30 for the microphone, and right now you're listening to the raw unfiltered audio, and I think it sounds good, but it also has the potential to sound even better with some post-production, some EQ tweaks, as you can hear right now. So for $30, having a microphone sound like that, I think that's a good deal. It's a very basic microphone. There's no bells and whistles. There's no gain control. There's no mute button on the microphone. There's no headphone jack, of course but I'm willing to accept that for the price. Now the stand itself, I was a bit less impressed, but again, I need to remind myself that the stand essentially is costing about 10, $12 extra. That's not a lot of money and, and value for money for what you get for that much. I think it's pretty good. The only thing that I wish it had is a screw at the base to tighten the stand. Uh, where it pivots, because sometimes when you are adjusting or uh, rotating the sand or adjusting the height, it pops out of place. I'm not sure why they did not include this screw. Most, if not all, stands that I've seen in the past have that. I wouldn't imagine it would cost so much more to include it. I'm not sure why they did not. Again, not a deal breaker because of the price. So I'm, I'm looking purely at value for money, and for $10, $12, it does a job fairly well. Uh, so does the microphone, especially if you're just getting started with streaming or podcasting or gaming or whatever your use case is, and you are on a tight budget for $30, you get the microphone, which sounds pretty decent or about 40 to 42. Uh, you get the boom arm as well. I will put links in the comment section. Should you wish to purchase the microphone? Let me know in the comments what you thought about this microphone. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.